But just driving to the, uh, you know, trailhead, you get wildlife like this sometimes. It's Monroe Beach Hillside Preserve for you. <laughs> yeah, so I've just entered the Hillside Preserve, the Monrovia Hillside Preserve. You know, I haven't come here a bunch, but I would say if there's an area where you stumble upon a bear, it'd be this one. I've seen them quite a few times near the entrance. Uh, you know, the funny thing is you can actually uh, see them on Google Maps uh, with Street View. So maybe I'll put a few pictures in here, or a little video of that. But yeah, I'm gonna do a little loop here. Well, I haven't been here in a little while. Uh, but yeah, it looks like someone constructed something for erosion sake. I mean, I wouldn't, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't come the way that I came if you're new to the area or just don't have good endurance, I guess. It's not particularly far, but it's very steep. And right now it's about like, I don't know, 95 to 100 degrees outside. <laughs> So yeah, I obviously haven't seen anyone else out here and I don't think I will, but yeah, views are nice. All right, I mean, this also looks like it's been maintained recently. I guess I haven't been here in like a year or so, but yeah, I came out right about there. Uh, I think these roads you're generally supposed to stay off of, but I think you're fine briefly at Connect here. And this goes up to the bench, which I'll show you all in a second. So yeah, there's a raven here. I'm here, it's a bench. Uh, <laughs> there's a heat advisory. It's uh, probably high 90s now, maybe hundreds. Probably not hundreds, but I'm guessing mid to high 90s. Um, so you don't see anyone else here. But you know, it's a weekend. Um, there's a frequented trail, so may have been people here in the morning. But yeah, <laughs> there's a lizard in the shade. You're in the shade. So this is how hot it is. There's a lizard in the shade. Well, coming down off the uh, switchbacks back here, and uh, yeah, there's, sounds like quite a bit of water flowing. You can kind of see some of it. I'm not sure about you, but maybe I'll try to come back here up this way one of these days, go down and bushwhack up the creek. Well, not traditional, I guess, uh, foraging for native plants, but yeah, there's some apparently uh, ripe, semi-ripe prickly pear fruits up uh, on the ridge here. So, you know, might be worth your while if you like these. I like them, but I don't want to carry a bunch of thorns in my hands. But, you know, I don't have my backpack with me now. There are little maps of the uh, preserve around if you're ever Curious about trying this trail. I think there's the route that I took up's maybe not quite on here, but uh, it's valid. You know, they're doing trail maintenance on it, so yeah, jog back this way. Well, I wasn't expecting to see a lot of water up, uh, on this run, but there's a, there's a spring here, you know, and I've known about this spring, but I haven't been here since a lot of the rain, and it looks like. <laughs> Now the spring has turned into like a waterfall. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, we're at the little ranger station. It's a little place you can refill your water. So I just topped mine off. Do just that. So. All right, so I'm gonna jog back to the vehicle. And, uh, just through the entrance here, so yeah. And I'll probably stop filming unless I see a bear somewhere. So that does tend to happen in this neighborhood.